My beautiful Leos and welcome to your mid to late October love reading. I hope you're doing well. I have to say your pre-shuffle kind of threw me. I was like, huh? What is going on here? Very interesting. Very interesting. So, and then this card flipped out and I, it kind of, the penny dropped. So the main message coming through in your pre-shuffle is that a connection or your love life is going to be completely transformed. I keep seeing the butterfly. Okay, this was adamant um, about coming out, this card. So the butterfly obviously talks about transformation, change, um, a relationship or a connection evolving um, to the next phase. Um, it's talking about growth. And then you got the death card. Transformation. Something that may have come to an end might be revived or you're just going to experience an ending and then a new beginning. Um, you've also got transformative in the Oracle cards as well. So something profound is transforming for you. Um, so there's something new and powerful emerging. And it's coming after a time of being in hermit mode. Okay, being in hermit mode means you might have kind of... Um, felt a bit disconnected from the world or from people in general. You may have um, been a little bit reclusive, trying to figure out a particular situation. You know, the hermit is on um, an inner journey to seek out the truth, to seek out clarity and understanding about something. So you might have retreated for a little bit. Um, and that's what may be um, the trigger or the catalyst to this transformation. Maybe you had a light bulb moment. I'm not sure. Some of you could be dealing with a Virgo with this Hermit card. Some of you could be dealing with a Scorpio with this Death card. Um, we also have another major Arcana card here. And guess what? It also means change. It also means cycles. Positive changes are coming through for you. The Wheel of Fortune. Now, it came out in the upright position. Yay. That means that changes are happening in your favor. You know, this is um, fate and destiny working in your favor. Luck is on your side here. You also have your energy coming through with the Six of Wands. This means victory. You know, after a period of reclusiveness, after a period of being in hermit mode, I feel like you're going to be out and about now. You're going to be noticed again. You're going to be recognized. You're going to have interest, romantic interest, and things are moving nicely for you. Um, we have the Nine of Pentacles next to the Queen of Swords. So for many of you, I feel like this is the person that you're dealing with. This is the connection that is going to see positive change. So the Nine of Pentacles next to the Queen of Swords, this could be someone who is quite successful, um, very well established financially. This person is prosperous. This person is abundant, but they might be a little bit emotionally cold or distant. They might have come across as very detached and you might have um, construed that as disinterest in you. Like you might have seen this Queen of Swords as not wanting you romantically. And so you might have drifted I say that because of the Hermit and the Death card. You might have ghost, like this connection might have just like disappeared into thin air. Because um, I remember one of your most recent readings, Leo, was that you were having this passionate connection with someone and then it just ended abruptly. So I feel like it could be this person coming back around. And I say that deliberately too, because of the wheel of fortune, you know, what goes up must come down. Um, we've got Rocky start here. So, so something that may not have gotten off the ground could be revived because we have redemption. I feel like this connection is going to be redeemed or someone's going to be redeeming themselves in your eyes. Okay. Um, you might get some clarity about why things ended so abruptly. Um, we've got Secret Lover. So I do feel like that's how you started off together. I feel like you started off um, keeping this connection a secret. Um, so not any, no one really knew about it. 
um, because the two of you probably were just looking for some fun. We have fun connections. So the two of you were probably just very playful with each other, very flirtatious. It was probably just a very passionate thing that was happening behind closed doors. Um, but I'm getting the sense that one of you or both of you might have had some um, a, a toxic tie from the past keeping you from fully investing in this connection or exploring it to its fullest potential because we have toxic love here and we have interference. So I feel like one or both of you had exes interfering in this connection and that's why it did, didn't get off the ground. That's why you had a rocky start with each other. Um, yeah, so, you know, interference is just saying... There was a need to be cautious not to allow others to get in the way with this upcoming relationship. Think for yourself. I do actually feel like others got in the way here. Um, which is a shame because you've got power couple. So the two of you um, are both just in a good place in your life. You both have a lot to offer the other person. This card is talking about two people being equals. Fiercely independent from one another, um, but, you know, there's a potential for a very equal, reciprocal, successful relationship here. So anyway, from the pre-shuffle, it looks like um, there's a lot of scope for positive change within this connection. So let's have a look at and see your person of interest. I wish you kind of, I wish you saw the pre-shuffle because it was really interesting when, when this redemption card flew out of the deck. It just was really unexpected and it just made the penny drop. It just made the, the cards make sense. Sorry, just bear with me. I need to make some room here, okay? All right. Uh, where's that deck gone? Here. Okay. Let's see who you're dealing with. What deck do I want to use? This one. Angels and Spirit, show me who is Leo dealing with in mid to late October in love, please. Who is Leo interested in, involved with? Who is Leo's person? Show me their energy. Show me their feelings towards Leo. Their intentions towards Leo, please. Three of Cups in the reverse. See, I do feel like there was interference here. You know, the Three of Cups in the reverse talks about infidelity, third party situations. Show me more about Leo's person, please, in mid to late October 2021. The magician in the reverse. Interesting. It was like they weren't able to manifest a connection with you. They felt a bit powerless. They didn't feel like they had the tools or the um, ability to bring about a connection with you. That's what I'm getting with the magician in the reverse. Clarify the magician in the reverse, please. And with, I'm, I'm being drawn to the infinity symbol here. So I feel like a pattern. This person was stuck in some kind of loop um, and they needed to... Ooh, um, they needed to extricate themselves from something that was recurring in their life and that's why they couldn't um, manifest this connection with you. We have the King of Cups. So um, this is a water sign and we also have the Three of Cups here. So very likely you could be, as I said to you earlier, dealing with a Virgo, which is the magician, um, or a water sign, Scorpio, Pisces, or uh, Cancer. All right, show me, who is this person? What did I tell you? Two of Pentacles. They were juggling. You, it was you and someone else. And look at this. There's the infinity symbol again. Okay, they were in. They were stuck in some kind of loop, some kind of pattern that wasn't serving them in their life. Okay. The moon. That's Pisces energy. Um, you weren't aware. Th this person probably didn't open up to you about 
you know, what was interfering or potentially interfering in this connection. Um, they needed to go and tie up loose ends with the world card. So a chapter needed to be closed before they could come towards you is what I'm getting. So um, it could, could have been a karmic cycle that needed to be complete with that world card and that infinity symbol. Okay. Show me more about Leo's person, please. That wind is crazy. Yeah, look, Eight of Cups in the reverse are coming back around. But I also feel like someone came back around in this person's life and they had to tend to that, okay, before coming towards you. All right, so let's see what the... I'm drawn to the Moonology deck, particularly because the Moon card came out. So let's see what is happening for Leo in love in mid to late October 2021, please. Okay, that was determined. A fiery climax approaches. I'm getting more... Now, isn't this interesting? I keep seeing for all of the signs, like cards like the Five of Wands, which is like a f fiery climax. It's it's um, conflict. It's drama. Um, so that is very, very prominent in the universal energies right now. Um, you might be embroiled in some kind of drama, Leo, but I'm getting more passion passion with this person show the world the real you okay so you're going to have an opportunity with this person to just be clear with each other about what it is that you want in this connection there was things that you were both hiding with the moon card okay you've got you're very close to achieving your goal and hold your vision so you were hoping to establish something, a connection, you know, a more stable connection with this person. And as I said, there's a, an opportunity coming up for you. And that's why you're getting, you're very close to achieving your goal. But you do need to believe it's possible. Hold your vision, okay? Um, let's see what is going on for this person. What is going on for Leo's person of interest? What are they working on in terms of the healing work? What are they dealing with, this, this person? Show me what is Leo's person working on, please. What are they trying to heal? Repelling energy. Okay, they're trying to repel people and energies that no longer serve or honor them. Um, this card is saying life is meant to be simple, joyous and flowing. So this person realized that their life wasn't flowing. It was complicated. And this person from their past, I feel, was complicating their life, making it um, stuck. So I feel like this person is working to repel people like this person. Um, they're awakening to this potential connection with you because we have awake the sleep and the card is talking about there being a greater reality waiting for them to open their heart to. So this card is saying, open your eyes, see beyond the physical and a beautiful new world will open to you. What you believe you will see. And that goes to that card of, uh, hold your vision. Um, this person needs to understand that um, re-establishing a connection with you is possible. Um, they need to believe that there's something better available to them. They've been accepting um, less than what they deserve and now they're, they're opening up to a new reality is what I'm getting, okay? I feel like this person um, before was very protective of their heart. They weren't really emotionally available to you before. Um, that's what I'm getting. Because we've got seal your aura. This person was sealed off. This person was very, very guarded. And you found it hard to penetrate them emotionally, which is why I feel like this connection kind of fell over in the beginning. All right, but there is evolution here for you there's redemption this this can be revived if you want it to be revived leo 
Let's see what your love advice is. Actually, let's see what your person of interest next move is towards you. Show me what action, if any, Leo's person of interest will be taking. Oh. Judgment. They do want a second chance with you. I'm seeing around Halloween. Look at this. So the Four of Wands is taking things to the next level. It's walking through the portal, you know, um, and I'm seeing pumpkins. So end of October, we have the Seven of Pentacles. So um, it came out in the reverse. I do feel like this person withdrew their time and attention towards you at one point because they were at a crossroads. Um, and we have the Nine of Swords in the reverse. They're coming out of feeling stuck. Okay, um, stuck in, in a previous situation that was holding them back is what I'm getting, okay? All right, let's see what your advice is, Leo. What does this, what, sorry, wrong deck. What is the advice for Leo, please? And then we'll do what this person would say to you if they could be completely honest. What is Leo's advice, please, when it comes to this connection in mid to late October 2021, please? Okay, you need to make a decision because you've got 50-50 question. So it'll, it's your choice whether you want to give this person another chance. Um, you are cautious. You, you did see red flags with this person before. That's what I'm getting from the warning card. Um, I do feel like most of you will want to revisit this connection because we've got yes. So I feel like you'll have the door still ajar for this person and you've got take a risk. So um, don't make your decision based on fear that this person might do what they did to you before. Don't make your decision based on fear that you're going to get hurt. Um, this is not a time to play it safe. Spirit is saying take a risk because if you make your decision based on your comfort zone, you know, the safety you feel will never last. And it's saying sometimes taking a risk is hard, but risks don't have to be taken as losses. They can be seen as new challenges. It all depends on your perspective. So try something new and see where the risk takes you. Um, I'm getting that with actions speak louder than words. I feel like you're going to have to... Um, do something to help this person uh, open up to you. It's not what you say. This person values actions. So it's, you're going to need to help this person bring their guard down a little bit because of whatever they've been through in the past. Um, they're going to be observing your, your behavior, your actions. So rather than try and reassure them with your, your words, with your verbal communication, um, try and use your body language. Try and um, do things that will make them feel safe emotionally is what I'm getting, okay? Not that it's your job. It's, it's your person of interest's job to heal themselves and to work on their trust issues. But I'm just saying if you want progress and momen momentum with this person, um, those are the things that are going to um, work in your favor. All right, so let's see what they would say to you. What would they say to Leo if they could be 100% honest in mid to late October, please? Yeah, see, they kept um, you at arm's length before because of the pain that they were experiencing. So they just stayed away. That's what I'm getting from this.
This person was afraid of going all in with you and then losing themselves in, themselves in this relationship. Fear was holding them back, okay? Can't believe that wind. Yeah, see, this person was already damaged before they met you, and that's why everything got so messed up. Okay, look, I'm in pain right now, and I miss you, but I need time to heal first. I want to be with you, but I can't leave this karmic situation behind just yet. That's why things didn't get off the ground, I told you. Okay, this person knows that you, you were missing them when they kind of ran off. And they knew that you wanted to talk it out, but they couldn't seem to find the right words to say to you. And they're sorry. Yeah, I ended it because I had other things going on that needed my attention. I ran away from you and this connection because it was just too intense and I couldn't handle how I was feeling at that time. I was just not ready for a love so great. There you go. That adds up. Let's see what else we can get. More about Leo's person, please, Spirit. Okay, so we have... I am scared of you. I feel like they're more scared of how they're going to be received by you after they disappeared. Um, everything reminds me of you. So they think about you a lot. I'm scared of showing vulnerability. This person is very guarded. I have a lot of insecurities. I feel like you sensed that in them before, Leo. And they want to take their time. We've got, we have all the time in the world. I won't give up on us. And they want you to know that they have really strong feelings for you. It wasn't that they were in love with their ex when they were involved with you previously. Because we have, it has always been you. I feel like they just needed to tie up loose ends. Okay. Um, I hope that this reading was helpful, Leo. Please leave me comments in the, um, down below your feedback. I value it so much. Like this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.